Okay, here we go. So, today I want to talk about the same things, but today our objective is to find the easiest method. Easiest. So we have three methods. One, we could graph to find the solution. There's substitution. And then three, there's our addition method. So I'm not really doing anything new today. I just want to go over our three ways. And tomorrow we'll, we'll learn something new. Today, I want to go back to what we've been doing. So number one, I said let's graph. Let's find out. Let's graph. Graphing is kind of a pain because you've got to get a piece of graph paper out. Get a graph the lines and find out where they intersect. The only reason I like graphing is because it kind of shows what we're really doing. Really, I have two lines where they intersect, right? So, in example one, it says graph. Well, I can do that. I'm going to graph the first one. Let's see, I'll first graph the first one in blue. Okay, so remember our starting line? It's in intercept form. The starting line's here. We're going to start at negative four. So our y-intercept is negative 4. Our starting line, this is our starting line. And then our slope is up 2 over 3. So we're going this direction, up 2 over 3. Okay. And here is our first line. Our second line, I'll graph that in orange. Well, that's kind of reddish-orange. Start at 2, my start at y intercept, y intercept of 2. My slope is down 1 over 2, 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 okay? Down 1 over 2, down, oop, down 1 over 2 is there. Down 1 over, no, I had it right. Maybe a ruler would help. Let me get a ruler out, that's going to help me a lot. Okay? So the point of intersection here is a little bit off my graph. So because it's off my graph, the best I can do is guess. So I would guess at one, two, three, four, five and a half, and down maybe negative one half. Graphing's nice that we can see what's going on. Graphing's not a really good way to do this, right? I mean, for two reasons. One, we have to graph it wrong. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Something did go wrong, and that we got a point that we really can't find without guessing. Okay. So then we've got another method. Okay. So example two. I made these ones. What do you What do you see about example two? Take a look at example two. What do you see? What do you see? Take a look at example two. Example two is supposed to be easy. Hmm. Whoa. Put that stuff away. We we'll start taking phones, you guys. This is crazy. Put them away. All right. What do you see? Come on. What do you see? Example two. Yeah. Don't you see the x's? Positive x, negative x. Positive x, negative x. What's going to happen when I add them together? They're going to cancel out. So. I'm just going to go ahead and add them, and I get x's cancel, 8y equals negative 8, divide by 8, I got y equals negative 1. Now, you can put this negative 1 into either equation, right? Either first or second, which one looks easier, first or second? First, okay, you don't like negatives, that's fine. It does not matter which one you put it into at all. So beta x, first one, that looks nice. So we'll go, instead of writing x plus 7, but we're not going to write y. We're not going to write y. Negative 1 equals negative 5, right? 7 times negative 1 is a negative 7. Plus 7 plus 7. x equals a positive 2, so alphabetical order. Okay, all right. All right, we've done this. This We did this... Uh, 
last week before conferences, right? They were really easy. They were easy ones. That was the 5.2a. Um, example three. Here we go, Carla. I'm not picking on Carla. Not on purpose. <laughs> but I'm going to use substitution. Why am I going to use substitution? Why does that seem easier to me? Yes, good answer, Mars. I already know what y is, so I can put this right there. Now, if you want to, you can bring over the x, right? You could bring in the x and you could line them up. But that also works. I'm going to use substitution, Mars, because it seems easier, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to go y equals 1 minus x. And I like to put them side by side. put this. 1 minus x is what y equals. 1 minus x is what y equals. So instead of writing y, I will replace y, replace y with my 1 minus x. And I'm, okay, 3x minus 4 times a 1 minus x equals negative 24. And then it gets pretty easy, I think. So I just replaced it. I did a substitution. I'll distribute. That times that. That times that. 3x minus 4 plus 4x equals negative 24. That makes a 7x, right? That makes a 7x minus 4 equals negative 24. Did I make a mistake somewhere? No, I'm just not going to get a perfect answer. That's the way it goes, I guess, huh? Plus 4 plus 4. Darn, I'm going to get a fraction. And I get a negative 20. Divide by 7. Divide by 7. I'm going to have to use a decimal. Negative 20. Divided by 7. I get negative 2.86. Ooh, ugly number. So then, I know what x is. That's an ugly number, but say la vie. Good thing I didn't try and graph that one that into probably right there would be the easiest place to put it, right? So I'll rewrite this as y equals 1 minus a negative 2.86, double negative, right? Which is y, double negative, double negative, 1 plus 2.86, which is just a 3.86. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. I'll let you catch up, okay? I just want to look at strategies with you. That's the main thing today, because hopefully you know how to do this. All right? And you could have done it the other way. You could have brought the x over. You could have brought the x over and lined up x's, y's, equal signs and numbers, and that would have worked. Okay, turn the page, or am I going too fast? Mm -hmm. A little too fast? Okay, I'll wait for you. I'm, I'm patient. Okay, let's turn the page. And, all right, solve this system. Now, I'm running a little bit out of time, but I just want to go through the strategies. So on number four, we won't solve it, but give me the strategy. What would you do? Give me a strategy to solve it. What would you do? Mars. I would add, add. I do want to add, but first let's make them opposite. So either make these tens or these tens, but I gotta make it a positive or a negative ten, right? Multiply. Multiply. So let's multiply this by two and this one by maybe a negative two. Oops, I said it wrong. Two and a negative five. Yeah. Two and a negative five, right? Let's see So I'm gonna multiply this one by a two, this one by a negative Five and I'll get I'll rewrite this equation. 10x 4y equals 18. Negative 10x positive 
25y equals 45. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna finish it because of time. The x's are cancel, right? And we can solve for y, okay? Last one, example five. Again, strategies, strategies, strategies. What would you do? Anybody have a, yes, go ahead. I'd say, um, like, you could do for a 3y and a 4y, you could uh, multiply, but what I would do first to make it easier is just try to bring the 9 over instead of the 3s and then move the 3s over. Yes, let's line them up. I agree. So let's get x's, y's, numbers. Um, totally correct. I'm going to do it a little bit, I think, easier, but I totally agree with you. Okay. Um, I like the way your mind thinks. I'm going to do it just, I think it's going to be a little bit easier, Preston, if I just bring the 4y over. Right, but you, what you were doing was totally correct. You guys like to do things. I got all these smart kids like to do things the hard way. So if I bring over the four y, how do I bring the four y over? How do I bring it over? Uh, subtract it, right? I got to subtract it because I go minus four y minus four y, so minus four y equals nine, and then I would probably multiply this one by. 3 and this one by negative 2, okay? And that'd be my strategy to solve it. So today, what I want you to do is just go back. We're going to go back to page 136, 135, 136. Today, I want you to do the evens, okay? So you've got to do 2, 4, 2 through 18 even. So today, um, and we have time to get some stuff done. Page 135, 136. I want you to do 2 through 18 even, okay? Um, And I want the phones away.